shoots with its own seeds like a cannon. Spring Trishan has a fairly original way of spreading seeds shoots them like a cannon. British scientists have succeeded register this extremely quick process on the recording. The researchers found that during such a shot, the grains reach a speed of about 20 meters per second and they can reach a distance of 10 meters. There are species in the plant kingdom that are fed up strange forms of spread. One of them is the spring trivial, Ecbolium elagrium, also called sprinkler or slut cucumber. This plant it has evolved to overcome the need for wind to occur during spreading of the seeds. Instead, when it's time to give life to the next generation, spring gush shoots seeds like a cannon. In the mature the fruit is high pressure and when the fruit is separated from the plant, the seeds of its interiors together with the mucus are thrown out at a high speed at a distance even 10 meters. Despite the apparent simplicity, the specificity of seed throwing, combining mechanical, hydraulic and ballistic phenomena, remain largely she's not well explored. Until now. In new work, researchers from the University of Manchester and University of Oxford uses ultra-fast cameras analysis of fast processes and advanced modeling mathematics to learn about the unique aspects of this strategy. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Our study shows how delicate interactions mechanical elements contribute to the effectiveness of the spread, influencing the distribution of plants and population dynamics, and also offers insight into evolutionary adaptations related to explosive mechanisms fruits, the authors wrote in the publication. The process of self-spreading of seeds at the use of the mechanisms of the parent plant is called autocria. Autochoria, on the other hand, uses various ballistic mechanisms to be called the balachoria. Scientists point out that this process is one of the fastest moves in the plant kingdom. In their research, scientists used viable cameras register up to 8,600 frames per second. They recorded on them as they sprinkles they are firing their seeds. They also made measurements of whole plants before and after ejection of the seeds. They also created a time-lapse film of plants in the period before the spread, and even performed their CT scan. They then developed a set of mathematical models describing mechanics pressure seed ejection and their ballistic trajectory. Their observations revealed four key stages of the process. First, a few weeks before the seed spread, the fruit is filled mucus liquid, which increases the pressure in the fruit. Then part of the audience the liquid is redirected from the fruit to the stem, which lengthens it and causes it thickening and stiffening. Redistribution of liquid also makes the fruit change its orientation from an almost vertical position to an angle close to 45 degrees which it is a key element necessary for the long distance firing of seeds. Another one the stage begins with the rapid rejection of the fruit from the stem, bearing fruit in the rotation movement. Finally, the seeds fly into the air. Seeds are ejected at the speed and angle of ejection, which depend on the course of the earlier stages. With the next seed speed the outlet decreases because the pressure in the emptying fruit decreases, during when the ejection angle increases due to the rotation of the fruit. This makes the seeds thrown away in the first place they reach the furthest distances, and the next ones land closer the plants. The fruits are arranged around the center of the plant, which results in wide and almost uniform distribution of discarded seeds covering the area in the shape of the ring at a distance of 2 to 10 meters from the parent plant. All these stages create an extremely sophisticated system spreading of the seeds. Scientists indicate that redistribution of fruit fluid to stem it is unique in the plant kingdom. They also point out that the method seed spreading developed by the spring triclin provides almost optimal seed spread and reproductive success of the plant. 
These research offer potential applications in engineering inspired by biology and science about materials, in particular in systems the supply of drugs on demand for example, microcapsules that throw away nanoparticles where precise control of rapid, directional release it is crucial, said Dr. Finbox of the University of Manchester. Spring trition can fire seeds even on a distance of 10 meters. However, there is a plant that shoots with its seeds. It's about Chinese beck, Hamamelis mollis. In ideal conditions, this plant it can fire seeds up to 18 meters. Newly developed concrete can help with cleansing the air. We would all wish the air around it was as clean as possible. But how do we achieve that? Thanks to the Korean work engineers will be able to use it for this Concrete Developed by a new type of activated concrete light can absorb pollution from the air and transform them into harmless products Air quality in cities is shaped first all by road transport from car exhaust pipes to the atmosphere nitrogen oxides and suspended dust are dangerous to health. But but Coragon scientists have found a solution that could help cleanse air in the cities. That, surprisingly, concrete, actually some kind of it. Concrete having the ability to purify the air is not it's a new invention. It was presented a few years ago. But what is scientists from South Korea have proposed, it is a special coating of dioxide titanium, which is able to significantly improve air quality. Description and results of the research appeared in the journal KSCE Journal of Civil and Environmental Engineering Research. Engineering team from the Korea Institute of Civil Engineering and Building Technology KICT set itself the goal of creating a photocatalytic concrete whose ability to purify air from pollutants would be based it's on its outer shell. In turn, this layer was made of the titanium dioxide. So far, various methods of its application have been tried. In the first approach, the addition of a combination containing dioxide was used titanium solution for already worked cement. The end result was not satisfactory, as this had a negative impact on the consist nature of the lava. The next test used pre-worked dust with the addition of dioxide titanium, which was then added to the cement, with which it has only just been, he's a mess. This time, a material with a slightly lower porosity was obtained than at the previous test, however, it still weakened the mixture. The third time the engineers decided to impose layers of titanium dioxide directly on the concrete with the help of spray. It is up to you the solution not only did not negatively affect the porosity of concrete, but even it made it stronger. And additionally, it allowed the applied dioxide of titanium to direct impact on airborne pollutants. The above layer of titanium dioxide is activated by the sun's rays. At this point, it begins to produce reactive oxygen species, RFT or English version, reactive oxygen species ROS. And it is they who then react with the present in the air with the pollution. This applies, for example, to ammonia or nitrogen oxides, which are aired by the cars. These compounds are broken down into chemicals that they are no longer harmful to us. Korean engineers tested their improved concrete in the practice. They put him in a road tunnel where to activate it artificial light is turned on the top layer. Then the improved concrete it was left in the tunnel for 24 hours. After this time, the level was examined pollution in the air and it turned out that it was 18%. Fewer nitrogen oxides than before the test. And let us remember that for example, in the tunnels that drive cars, air because of the presence of exhaust gases is a thousand times more polluted than air outside the tunnel. A new type of concrete turned nitrogen oxides into a form of salt which under natural conditions, 
she could simply be washed off by the rain. Of course, of course in the tunnel itself, it was necessary to remove it manually. The next step of the Koreans will be to try increase the efficiency of the layer you develop. Because they have hope that it will be introduced to the market. If such an invention had become widely available, this could significantly affect air quality in many cities that are currently facing this problem. 138888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888